Welcome to the T Radix Ranch. Thought I would uh, throw together a little video today about brumation. The time we put our snakes down that we're going to breed uh, in the following spring. We put them down into a cold area. Uh, preparations I usually let them go two to three weeks without any food. I'm not real concerned about water, but uh, they have to be free of food. Uh, food in their uh, digestive system will just rot and uh, go septic and that will kill the snake so when you're preparing your snakes for brumation it has to be that good 14 21 days without food and that can be difficult sometimes because they are little begging machines uh, here we have uh, a container that I use for brumating it's a Rubbermaid container I put a cloth down in it just a soft cloth is it necessary? Probably not, but I put one in there any, anyway for my snakes. And then we've got a water dish. Uh, this is just a Rubbermaid dish. And I change water weekly. Keep them fresh water. A lot of snakes that are in brumation like to lay in the water dish uh, and stay in the water. So this is a uh, container that I use. And of course a lid that goes with it. The only thing that needs to be done now is to place a snake inside, pour some water, get the lid on it, and then it'll go into the fridge. And that's what we'll talk about next is the refrigerator. Well, here we are at the uh, refrigerator, and what I've done with this refrigerator is I've tried to set it as warm as I can inside. Um, for one thing, I keep my night crawlers in there, and uh, then I also brumate snakes. So you can see I've got a thermometer in there, it's 46 degrees. It'll actually drop a little bit lower than that. I've had the door open a little bit. What I would simply do is now take this container, which has snakes in it, I'd set it right there, and then I check on those snakes every, I check on those snakes so probably you know, once a week I'll lift the lid and check on them, check their water, and make sure that uh, you know things are going good. Uh, any signs of uh, massive weight loss or anything like that, then I, I'll pull a snake out immediately. But otherwise, um, they'll spend two months in there. And then by the time they're out, they are ready. They've been uh, storing up fat. They've been ovulating during the fall and preparing for the next year breeding. And once they come out of there, I let them warm up for about 72 hours and I'll introduce a male into uh, their home and hopefully we'll have some nice breeding garter snakes. So I thought I'd just let you take a look at how I do my brumation. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me and I'll do the best I can to answer them. Thank you for watching and have a great garter snake day.